In this coding exercise, we're going to walk through how to create a collection of random numbers within a specific range. So right here, if you come down to the RSpec test, it pretty much tells you what we're looking for. So it gives a description, and then what it's going to do is it's going to test to see if it creates two random number sets from the method that we're going to implement. First, it checks to make sure that the count of them is 20, just like you can see right here. And then it also verifies that random set one isn't equal to random set two. And that's just essentially ensuring that it creates two different sets. So it creates a different set of integers every single time we run it. Uh, we also could test if we wanted to get very detailed to make sure that it doesn't go below 100 or go below one or above a thousand, that kind of thing. But I don't think that that's too critical. If you get both of these tests passing, then that's really the most important thing. So this is going to be incredibly easy. Even though if you're coming from another language, this may actually seem like a kind of challenging task. I'm going to show you how we can accomplish this in just one line with just a very small amount of code. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an array. And I'm going to use the array.new syntax. And so this is going to create an, uh, just a regular empty array. Now, usually, if you do array new just by itself, all it's going to do is create a completely empty set. So if I come down here and just type array.new and then run this code, then you'll see right here on line 7 that we just have an empty array. However, there's a pretty cool thing that we can do with array new. We can actually tell it how many items to start off with. So here, what we are looking for, if you look down on the tests, we're looking for an array with 20 elements inside of it. So if I pass in 20 to the new as an argument and run this, you'll see that it gives us an array of 20 elements. Now, they're all nil because we haven't said exactly what we want, but that's totally fine. That's what we're going to implement now. So what we can do, one thing that I've discovered not a lot of people realize when it comes to working with arrays in Ruby is arrays actually take a block. So what, and when I say take a block, it means that we could do something like do and then end and then have some kind of code run inside of here and then every single time. So for every new time it iterates and it creates a new item, it would do whatever is in that block. I'm going to get rid of that because I only want it to do one thing and I'm going to put it inside of curly braces. Remember your Ruby syntax that do, having the do end block is the same as having the curly braces, but if you only are doing one command, the common convention is to put it in curly braces. So now what I can do, because if you look at what our test is looking for, it says it creates a collection of random numbers. So I can type in rand, and then we want the numbers to range from one to a thousand. So if I do rand 1000, what this is going to do is it's going to create an array of 20 items, and it's going to fill that array with random numbers ranging from one to a thousand, which is exactly what we're looking for. So if I run this, you can see that that is exactly what this did. So first integer is 623, 166, 99, 797, all the way through. We don't have any going below one. We don't have any going above a thousand. This is a really powerful tool when it comes to being able to create random numbers, whether you're doing some type of game or if you want to have say test data. So you say you want to have a, a range if you're creating something like a school testing program and you're creating ranges between 1 and 100 for grade percentages, anything like that. I've discovered that I have used the RAND method in all kinds of different ways through the years and Ruby has a really nice syntax for it. But one thing that not a lot of people will do is know that you can create an entire array full of random items just like this. And this is something that's very helpful. So I'm going to just cut this, paste it in up here, and let's see if this gets our tests passing. So I'm going to switch over, run RSpec, 
December 23rd. And there you go, look at that. We have one example, zero failures. So that is how we can create a collection of random numbers in one line in Ruby.